Let's go on to the to uh, some weather, and then we'll uh, hit the, uh, the briefs in the news. So, uh, so what do we okay, have? Okay, so today it's going to reach a high of 94, and I don't know about you, but if you were up this morning, you weren't out too late last night, you had those windows open, because I certainly did. Um, nice, cool breezes coming in. The rest of this week looking exactly the same, weather to be in the mid-90s. Um, no peaks of 100 till Saturday, which might not be too much of a bad thing. Um, nice warm day, nice warm hot weekend. So um, get out there, enjoy the sunshine. Just two, two more weekends left, I think, before most schools start, or one weekend left if you're a city college. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Well, definitely. That uh, it's looking a lot better than what I was worried it would be in the middle of August. I mean, ninety, late there, ninety-five Wednesday and Thursday. I mean, that's. So much better than what you normally expect. It's normally, what, about 105 right now? Yeah, just about. I mean, I have, I have such a conflict. I mean, I want it to be nice and warm. At the same time, I want it to be cold, so that way sitting in a classroom <laughs> doesn't seem so bad all the time. Yeah, unfortunately, the uh, air conditioning doesn't kick in until it starts getting cold, right? And then the heaters don't kick in until it starts being too hot. But I guess that's what you get when the uh, government wants to pay for uh, heating services instead of actually paying attention to what they're doing. Anyway, let's go ahead and go on to some, uh, some briefs. Mudslides have devastated a town in China. The death toll has risen to 337 and over 100, uh, or over 1,000 people are still missing. Uh, the dis disaster struck Sunday as a debris blocked swollen river burst, swamping entire mountain villages in the county seat and ripping homes from their foundations and is the deadliest incident in China's worst flooding in a decade. It's very sad to hear. Um, but we've got some lighter news. Yeah, on the bright side though, Kohl's is offering uh, 400 jobs here in the valley. So uh, if you're unemployed right now, looking to start a new career, um, great excitement happening over at Kohl's. So uh, um, each city um, in, in town is uh, hosting a job fair, uh, which began Sunday and ran through um, Thursday. That's of this week, right? Yeah, um, that's this week. So if you're interested, you should feel free to visit uh, coalscareers.com or call 1-877-NEW-COALS. Um, in case you don't know, that's 877-639-5645 to schedule um, an interview and to obtain additional information regarding uh, the time and location where you can go um, try and get a new career. So, yeah. It's uh, good to point out that these stores are going to be Hanford, Porterville, and Clovis. Yeah, it, it's nice to hear that, you know, we'll actually get jobs in the Valley, folks. Um, but in his weekly address last Friday, the president discussed a new Medicare trustees report showing that Medicare to be m on a much stronger footing as a result of the reforms in, uh, affordable, in the Affordable Care Act. In addition, seniors are also already getting help with prescription drugs costs uh, when they fall into the infamous donut hole. We now turn to the clip for more. Forty-five years ago, we made a solemn compact as a nation that senior citizens would not go without the health care they need. This is the promise we made when Medicare was born. And it's the responsibility of each generation to keep that promise. That's why a report issued this week by the trustees who oversee Medicare was such good news. According to this report, the steps we took this year to reform the health care system have put Medicare on a sounder financial footing. Reform has actually added at least a dozen years to the solvency of Medicare, the single longest extension in history, while helping to preserve Medicare for generations to come. We've made Medicare more solvent by going after waste, fraud, and abuse, not by changing seniors' guaranteed benefits. In fact, seniors are starting to see that because of health reform, their benefits are getting better all the time. Seniors who fall into the donut hole the gap in Medicare Part D drug coverage are eligible right now for a $250 rebate to help cover the cost of their prescriptions. Now, I know for people facing drug costs far higher than that, they need more help. So starting next year, if you fall in the donut hole, you'll get a 50% discount on the brand name medicine you need. And in the coming years, this law will close the donut hole completely once and for all. Already we've put insurance companies on notice that we have the authority to review and reject unreasonable rate increases for Medicare Advantage plans. 
and we've made it clear to the insurers that we won't hesitate to use this authority to protect seniors. Beginning next year, preventive care, including annual physicals, wellness exams, and tests like mammograms will be free for seniors as well. That will make it easier for folks to stay healthy, but will also mean that doctors can catch things earlier, so treatment may be less invasive and less expensive. And as reform ramps up in the coming years, we expect seniors to save an average of $200 per year in premiums and more than $200 each year in out-of-pocket costs too. This is possible in part through reforms that target waste and abuse and redirect those resources to where they're supposed to go, our seniors. We're already on track to cut improper payments in half, including money that goes to criminals who steal taxpayer dollars by setting up insurance scams and other frauds. And we won't stop there, because by preventing the loss of these tax dollars, we can both address the runaway costs of Medicare and improve the quality of care seniors receive and we can crack down on those who prey on seniors and take advantage of people. So we are no longer accepting business as usual. We're making tough decisions to meet the challenges of our time. And as a result, Medicare is stronger and more secure. That's important because Medicare isn't just a program. It's a commitment to America's seniors that after working your whole life, you've earned the security of quality health care you can afford. As long as I am president, that's a commitment this country is going to keep. Thanks. What he had to say was able, was uh, explained what he's trying to get at and what's really going on. And do we have sound? Okay. I wasn't sure when you're hitting that. But uh, we are going to go ahead with some more news. Cool. So just a few fun things coming up this next weekend. Um, so of course there's always the typical baseball game you can go to. There's not too many Fresno Grizzlies games left, but this Friday the 13th um, they will be having a baseball game with fireworks, which are especially fun to go to. So win or lose, there's always something great in it at the end. Um, also on the 14th there's going to be um, a real uh, sports day out at the Fresno Regional Sports Complex. It's at Jensen and West and if you've ever been out there then you know just how big and how awesome it really is. But if you've never gone, it's just a really big park with lots of baseball fields, football fields and um, a great place to uh, bring the whole family. So. The 14th, there's going to be softball games, a fishing derby, a vert ramp competition. If you're into skateboarding, you can get your Tony Hawk on, or uh, you can even join a game of flag football. So tickets are $5, and I believe they're giving away a lot of stuff for uh, kids going back to school as well. So um, it should be a really fun day for the whole family. So, Well, that's great. It's great to hear. Well, um, last but not least in our briefs before we go to commercial, um, California Democrat Maxine Waters is in hot water f f herself, folks, as she formally is charged with three counts of ethics wrongdoing by the House Ethics Committee, including charges that she accepted special favors for, for a family member. Waters has denied the charges. All right, folks, we're going to go to commercial break, and when we come back, we'll have a clip from uh, the Bridal Showcase folks, and then we'll be going to our usual feature with the World of Men. Stay tuned.